the minutia. Do. The minutia of yeah, the, the style, details, the individuals, uh, yeah. and and that's why I always find these these things. You know, BJJ versus judo, BJJ versus old versus aikido, judo versus karate. I find them interesting experiments, but it's very limited because we're we're really not accounting for a lot of variations, a lot of variables. So who are we talking about? Who are the guys that are competing? Are they uh -huh. competing at the same level within the same discipline? Yes, mm -hmm. no. They have the same level within the, the their own discipline. Uh, it's the setup done in a way that puts both players at the same with the, with the same opportunities mm -hmm. because you know there, there's videos out there that say bjj versus judo and they're showing that the bjj guy wins most of the time well to be honest with you in a judo competition you are demanded to be always trying to throw the other guy okay to be always trying to get it to always attack always 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 putting pressure mm -hmm. the bjj just wait for the other guy to give in your back drop him on the ground and that's where you start working. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, a, there's a disconnection with context expectations as you were pointing out the individual mm -hmm. level of the athlete. So all and these the rules, things- The rules, yeah, the rules and the are rules. different. Like in what match are we talking about? Are we talking a judo match or are we talking a BJJ match? Yeah. So of course that's gonna make a, it's gonna have a huge impact on who has the advantage and who comes out on top. Yeah, so it's not even a fair uh, analysis. No, it, it can't be fair. It can't be fair to begin with because these are very specific disciplines. And so we're talking about fighting as a principle, having people fight, bringing what they want to bring. That's a daughter thing. But if we bring these two specific disciplines, they have specificity. They, they, they either accommodated to find a middle ground or you're going to set up someone to lose and someone to win. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to me, they sound like, Godzilla versus Superman. It's like, okay, <laughs> who's gonna win? Or or those things, Van Dam versus uh uh versus Steven Seagal. Who's gonna win? Well, well, you know, you'd have to look at like what you know, Van Dam versus Seagal. Are we talking like current Van Dam and current Seagal or Van Dam in his heyday and and Steven Seagal? Yeah, yeah but I, I know okay. what you mean. Yeah. Well, Seagal these days has his own orbit, is more of a planet than a person. So <laughs> yeah, I think he can barely move, but uh even in the prime i say what would, would, would even in his prime are what are we talking about in terms of complication that's okay always it's interesting to play with these concepts but what i what i don't like people getting to scientifically sound conclusions yeah about yeah you can't, best you can't make the, mm -hmm. based on this but that's the thing too, like to get back to, you know, DKU versus uh, Brad, I mean, okay, DKU is Mr. Combat Warfare System, Mr. Modern Day Bruce Lee, even though he said in an interview with uh, uh, Patrick Bet David uh, that he never heard of Bruce Lee. He only heard of him recently, like, or something like that. How is that even possible when you're living under a rock? Supposedly in South Korea, <laughs> people don't know who Bruce Lee is. Somebody wrote that in the comment section. I was like, because I made a video like, hey, my beef with oh. you, and I was saying this guy is full of, full of, full of crap because he's saying okay. he never heard of Bruce, and he made up all this like his his so called one inch punch, whatever. He's like, oh, I made that up. Like I didn't learn that from Bruce Lee. I learned it from some Korean general, war general, and I, I developed system myself, and I studied with a whole bunch of masters, and I got into a bunch of street fights, and I never heard of Bruce Lee. Up until wow. like, uh, like after he developed his system or much later in life. So I'm like, okay, this guy, this guy is pure uh, BSing. And then he go, and then he goes on to say that, uh, or he promotes himself as the new Bruce Lee or some people do. And I'm like, okay, let's say, so like, let's just, that was just my little rant there for a second. Now, and um, so going back to the fight with Brad, like, okay, you're Mr. Warfare Combat System. You're the modern day Bruce Lee. You're, you're the guy that, uh, you know. So why are we doing a boxing match? You should be going there <laughs> at least MMA, at least with MMA gloves. And, and you could say, okay, uh, you, could, you could rig it, you know, no grounds, no ground game, no taking, no takedowns and no submissions. You could say that, but at least, at least have like a, a, a kickboxing match with four ounce gloves, like MMA gloves, because you're saying that, you know, that's what that, I know. And, and, and Brad is MMA guy. You could tell him, okay, no takedowns, no submissions. Like we just, you know, kickbox with this, you know, that would allow you to use all your tools, all your sophisticated technology that you yourself developed 
to to show the world like what's up like that you can you know and it, it wouldn't matter if you get you 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 and he could have but they chose boxing out of nowhere you know so well they, me, they, no it's not out of nowhere because in in the event that you lose it's not your sport so you're not putting yeah, everything exactly, on the line exactly and then it works exactly. for both of them exactly it works for so that, both of them yeah not yeah just and, and and exactly and that's why like and and when you ask that question that that the only logical explanation is because yeah because obviously you don't want to get your your your, your ass handed to you you yeah. want to choose something where like you could you could you could play the you could play you could perform the way you perform essentially hugging all the time and like just take uh you know sn sniffing uh brad's crutch all the time and taking a dive and rolling on the ground <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> you know, and then, and then say you survived. Yeah, of course you survived because you ran away the whole time. You hugged them and then you rolled on the ground. So, and he's not allowed to kick you in the head, or he's not allowed but to yeah, kick but you it's, or you, So, but it's an insurance policy. It's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It, it is fine. It's policy. fine. And, and, it, and the, the goal, the goal that you want to attain is the uh -huh. one of surviving with him. And you can you can reframe it the way you want with your followers. It doesn't really matter. And, and he stole again, that. And, and he stole that whole survival thing out of uh, right out of the book of right out of the page of a book of uh, Helio Gracie when he challenged Kimura and Kimura came over and yeah, and, you know, he said, Hey, I survived for more than uh, a minute or whatever. Yep. And that means yep. I won. No, you didn't yep. win. You got smashed. But it, but if you're the idea was for you to survive, then yes, in that context, actually, you that you survive for the first minute, but actually he didn't survive for the first minute because when he got thrown that first time with Osoro Gary, he actually yep. passed out. Yep. Kimura didn't know that. And he yep. just continued and woke him up while <laughs> he trying to like, break his arm. <laughs> but Kimura was a beast. Yeah, of course, of course. So like, honestly, hunch, like you, you got to give credit to Helio for even like attempting that. Yeah. You know, even though he rigged, he tried to rig it as much as possible. He put the soft tatamis thicker and softer tatami so that he wouldn't like you know, get like completely uh, you know like uh, discombobulated after a throw yeah. so and there was a lot of games and a lot a lot of setup going on there but just the fact that he took it against a monster like Kimura like you got to give him props for that and I think you could say the same for DKU so DKU yeah. I give him credit for that 42 year old going in with a ring for the first time ever in his life against like this guy that weighs 50 pounds more than you and that could literally kill you if you wanted to and you know so and that's and, that's the whole point i mean you you compare yeah. with with what happened with kimura it's uh -huh. it's the same thing it's a win-win situation you win your magical being your superhero you mm -hmm. won again this beast okay god of judo hmm? yeah you lose okay there's always a way to spin it mm -hmm. saying i survived Okay, the whole thing when after the match, when Kimura invited them, they're going to give him Kodokan ranks. And they say, mm -hmm. no, thank you. I got my thing now. Okay, and mm -hmm. I am going to name something that I do after you, which mm -hmm. I, then I'm going to pretend that I invented when it's coming from Maeda directly. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and so that I own you, mm -hmm. even after I lost, ah. even after I passed out, <laughs> Even after you broke my arm, okay, also invalidated the whole thing that there are pins that you can hold for 100 years. No, uh -huh. a pin is a break in disguise. Mm -hmm. You either tap or you, you, got, you, or you go out mm -hmm. or you get broken. Uh, so I, uh, I reframe the whole thing to my own, you know, benefit. And yeah. that's what he do, what, what, what Gracie did, what Helio did. Uh, and 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 it was amazing. And again, it's not a judgment on the art. The art is amazing. It's it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, DKU, well, not so much. <laughs> okay, not for me. At least it's not my cup of tea. I don't think I have. Well, I always have things to learn from everybody. But he would not sign up for his classes. Let's say that way. Uh, but you know the whole mark thing. It's mm -hmm. the whole the whole stunt. That's pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah 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 so like give him credit for that um yeah. and and like i think the title for 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 that segment where we talk for the clip where we're talking about dku and all i think it's gonna be called like uh the 
I don't the mer mercy beating or something like that, you know, like because yeah. <laughs> that's what I feel it was. Like it was it was a beating, but it was a merciful beating that Brad gave him because you know he um, well felt sorry for him, you know, didn't want to do him that way, felt he could get his point across, and of course it would benefit him like uh, you know in, tremendously in so many other ways. And I think that was a smart well, thing to do. And like you said, there's no there there like in in both cases, like like you said, they both come out winners this way. You they know? both and come out gonna, winners. Yeah, no, and you're not I mean, going to convince anyone from knocking them out. And even if you do, you know, who are you going to be? Are you going to be the guy that uh, that uh, that that out market all all these people forever? No, you're not going to be that because they're always going to be there. Okay, mm -hmm. you're going to be the guy who discovered the hot water is hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're beating someone that had no place in a ring to begin with. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the achievement there? And on the other side, you have maybe sponsor contracts, maybe other things. Like I'm not oh, saying he sold fight. the match, but I say, okay, if I have to choose between these two things, uh, okay, I get some nice YouTube comments versus I got these old contracts. <laughs> Enough with the comments, I don't care. There's not a real yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Because the comments, well, you know, they don't they don't pay the bills, right? Yeah. And uh, and exactly. what he did now, I think it's great. He proved this point. We, we all see it. The ones who can't be convinced aren't going to be convinced, even if there was a knockout. There you go. And now he has different opportunities to fight different guys and set up all kinds of good stuff. And he has a friend in DKU too, you know, why not? 